Okay, let's let's get back. Uh, as I was saying, this value is a type of object that scale form references anything on Flash, including the Flash itself, this guy, the movie. And if you have like a sprite or a movie clip inside, you will call it value as well. Here we only have a constructor for now. We'll add a few more methods in a few minutes. Let's for now create our flash object. Just first made an, another folder here. Oops. Let's call it flash. Let's get it out of any got them. Out of any other folder. Okay, here we are. We have a clear AS3 flash here. We'll just save it in that folder that we're using. That we're using. And let's go for tutorial. Assets. Flash. Let's give it a name of, I don't know, Joker Flash. That's me, Joker. Not Batman's Joker. And. Uh, the scale form is quite powerful. You can actually use classes from outside. You don't have to code anything in a timeline. And so I'll just give it a main here. And we'll use it right here. You can let's save this guy. I'll save it in the same folder just for ease of use. You could use like external packages like Swinglight and everything else you might want. I mean, you should check the docs for specifics, but I did use uh, Twinlight and it worked with no problems. Okay, the size won't matter for now as the FPS, so we'll just go for our codes. First thing is good that you do uh, set the scale mode for your for your stage so it won't like stretch or miss anything so we usually use a show all type so you can like match the size of the camera inside unity and a few good things to do here in the properties are to remove this automatically automatically declares stage instances just for control, better control of your own code. And a really cool thing here is that you can uh, allow the bugging and every time you make a trace statement in Flash it will go in Unity as a debug log. So it will help you debugging everything. And something that is kind of important is that you uh, publish this guy on this folder streaming assets is where uh, scale form will search for it okay so joker slash swift we'll go here I'll, i'm copying this name because i'll have to paste it on unity if you remember here uh, on our flash camera this guy main menu won't be used anymore we'll replace it for our own joker slash okay getting back to flash as we're making a simple tutorial, I'll just like pass a few strings up and down. So we'll have like a couple of text fields. Let's just say a txt input. I'll copy this guy and declare it here. Public type text field. And we'll use another one. Oopsie. As a dynamic field and made it TXT display. so we can find him <laughs> in Unity and make a couple of buttons in here. OK, 
Okay, sorry about the fireworks, guys. Somebody's probably very happy around here today. As I was saying, we will uh, retrieve uh, a way to call this display here. And let's do this. As I as the as I said in the beginning, we we'll use the value type. Let's just say uh, flash text. The, the name we will use whatever we want, and we will use and it will be equal to the movie dot get member. This get member function receives a string that is the name of the the reference you want in Flash. Okay, so through this you will grab whatever Flash has with this name and put inside your a variable in the type value. Okay, so now with our own flash text, we will call another method named set member. With set member, it will receive a string which is uh, what element of this guy you want to change. For now, we will use the text member. Okay, we're setting a text of the text field. Is the same name you you use in Flash like x y scale x scale y, whatever. And here you pass as a parameter what you wanna set in this member. Okay, it could be like a float if you're setting a coordinate or something like that. We'll simply use the txt that we receive. Okay. What else? There's a second way of make. Unity call flash, which I actually believe is a little bit uh, more useful. So let's make it just copy and paste this for speed up. We'll make btn2 on btn2 unity and we'll pass a parameter just like this one. Okay, but this time we'll set the text in a different manner. I'll again copy this guy. But now, instead of simply uh, getting the, the member from the flash, we'll actually call a function in flash. Okay, so what we have to do is we'll use in the movie the method uh, invoke. This guy will receive a string as parameter. It's exactly like the external interfa interface in flash but it's the other way around. It's how the uni oh, how the Unity with scale form will call methods inside Flash. Okay, so here on Flash, we we'll like create a public function name on receive from Unity, oops, which will receive a string, like txt, will be the type string, and return nothing. You could actually return a value, we just won't use it here. And we'll use like text, txt display dot text will be equals the parameter we're receiving. Again, we, you, you didn't have to have a parameter you know, we're just using here for now. So this has to be the exact same name of the function. Okay, so again for avoiding mistyping, I'll just copy and paste here and I'll send as a parameter the txt that we received. Okay, as simple as that and Flash will grab it and put it here on your display. Okay, we're probably done for now so I'll just compile this guy and that shouldn't be any problem. Let's go back to Unity, let's compile some scripts. On the main camera, as I said, we need to drag this code up here, flash camera, to it. Okay, it's here, it has a lot of parameters that we're not using for now, just all of the things he extended from SF camera. And it should be working. Let's cross our fingers, just a final checking up here. Okay, Joker Slash, yeah, should work. Okay, so 